Behind me is one of the most electric fifth wheels in the entire RV industry. It's a new manufacturer called Brinkley RV, and they were the talk of the town this year at the Florida RV Super Show with over a thousand percent more sales than the year before. This is the 2024 Brinkley Model Z 3110. We're taking a look at the outside features and the inside features then. We're going to give you three things we love about the Brinkley and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today I am super excited. Now I was being a little exaggerated by saying a thousand percent more, but they sold about ten times as much this year as they did last year at the Florida RV Super Show because last year was their first RV their year at the show. But again, it's still a super hot display, the Brinkley Model Z. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey, Will, hey guys. how's it going? It's going good, guys. We're so excited. Again, Brinkley has just, they only started, what, about a year ago? Kicked ass and take names. I know, and, and they've really developed a name for themselves already. And I'm so excited to take a look at this new floor plan for us we haven't seen yet before. And I can't wait to show you guys. You ready, Will? Yep. Let's begin. Model is 3110, Model Z. The actual tip-tip length is 34 feet, 11 inches. Dry weight, 12,168 pounds. Hitch weight, 2,168 pounds. 75 gallons of fresh water, 90 gallons of gray water, 45 gallons of black water. Well, this is an awesome beast of a fifth wheel. It is. This is the Model Z. This is what we would consider a mid-profile fifth wheel. Right. Now, a lot of people like to compare these to the Grand Design Solitudes and the Alliance Paradigms. But well, even though this is price point to a Paradigm and a Solitude, it's more competition to the Alliance Avenue and the Grand Design Reflection. Yeah. Mid-Pro. What's super unique about this is it has the features and finishes of the Solitudes and the yeah. Paradigms. It's like a luxury version of those. Exactly. Or of the uh, Mid-Pros. Of the Mid-Pro. Yep. They, Brinkley, it's so dumb. Not dumb. It's dumb that it hasn't been done. Brinkley kind of made their own class. They did? Because there's always been mid-pros and full pros. Yeah. Brinkley, like, invented luxury oh, mid-pro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Beautiful painted fiberglass front cap. Brinkley, love the way it looks. Love the way the mold is. Everything about it is fantastic. Lippert Rhino Box pin box right here. Very nice. And then underneath there, Will, is a little bit of storage. You can see your battery, your solar can charger. And then look at that, Will. Talk about luxury hydraulic leveling. Now, yep. this one is only four-point hydraulic leveling. Right. Because of how short it is. On the bigger ones, it is six-point. But we will touch on the four-point a little later. But again, going on those features, so the high-end features, it's the hydraulic. So it's it a lot better than the electric. Coming on down here, you can see that you do have your propane tank. Okay. Very nice. Look at the nice squared off. We call them the Brinkley windows. Look at the nice design of this. It's so beautiful. Right. Whoever designs the interior and exterior of all Brinkley. Exterior. Exterior just does a fantastic <laughs> job. They do, yeah. Love the storage. You got your sound system here. The uh, outdoor shower with hot and cold water. Yeah. And I love this material on the inside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is what I want for the storage. Okay. Very nice power awning with LED lights and a power awning with LED lights on that slide out there. We do have the Moride safety rail right there and the Moride step above steps. Very nice. Okay, coming on down. Look at these tires. Well, they're the Coopers. I love those. 215-75 R17.5 with the blacked out road armor lipper suspension. You see that, Will? I do, yeah. And the blacked out Brinkley rims. Looks good. You know what I love about Brinkley? Um, this is gonna be the last touching point on this. All these brands, they say, hey, how do we get this to a sale price of 69.9? Yep. How do we get this to a sale price of 79.9? Brinkley said, how do we make this look badass awesome in America? Right. Make it that way and then people will pay. Yeah. You know, it's just like, People will pay the price for quality. Yeah. And that's what you're getting with this. It is. Like everything, you know? Like, I know that's not important to a lot of people. That's important to somebody like me. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, Jen, show this picture. Bing! That's a picture that we took today of somebody picking up a Model G from General RV, of course. Right. But 
b behind a Denali. Right. And that freaking looks awesome. It does, it? it did. Check out this awesome storage here. This is great storage back here, actually. It also opens up this way. And then look at the dual level of the storage. Yeah. Oh, very, very nice. Four pin connector, so you can tow 3,000 pounds behind this. We never recommend that. Right. Slam latch doors and a Furion backup camera there. And you know what, Will? I'm what? gonna climb up on the roof. It is the um, PVC roof, right? Yes. Also, Brinkley uses Asdell. Right. Asdell is a composite behind the fiberglass and it will never delaminate on you. Yep. All right, well, let's go take a look. Okay. Up here on the roof, you can see so a nice one piece, fully walkable PVC roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Notice the lower profile of the Furion air conditioning on the front. This unit only has two air conditioning units, but this one has three, even though it's a different floor plan. But again, both of them are the lower profiles. The ones in the rear are the bigger ones. Not only that, solar panel right there and your WineGuard 360 digital antenna. Be careful. Going up is always easier than coming down. I know. Dang, dude. If you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Feel this ladder? Yeah. Sh come here, for real. It's pretty sturdy. Dude, it didn't, it didn't flex or move or nothing. Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a nice ladder. The RV is moving more than the ladder. You see it? Dude, you know how important that is? Right. That's really nice. That is nice, yeah. Again, it's just the Brinkley way, just more quality, just. Yep. Five mountains, baby. Finishing up. Come on. We're coming down here. That's where you dump your tank. Okay. Store your. Uh, Stinky slinky. Yep. Furion. Instant hot take this water heater. Did I mention backup camera already on? I think so, yeah. Okay, and then over here, how you doing? Look at that. It's just what I want, Will. Potable water fill, potable, potable. City water connection, black tank flush. You already have the joints already on it. Here's your Lippard auto leveling, the other side of the storage. Everything about this unit is fantastic and it is 50 amp service there. Cool. And just like that, bada bing. Bada boom. Okay. And then another propane tank right here. Let's check it out. Just like that. Cool. Well, well, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Come on, let's go. Take a look. Okay. Oh. Also forgot to men mention the RV lock keyless entry right Right, there. that's cool. It is very nice. Oh, also... You get the screen assist from Lippard, okay? Yep. The slingshot and the screen defender. The slingshot might need a slight adjustment. Yeah, just a little bit. But look, it's doing it. There right. you go. Love that. Yeah, it can get tighter. For sure. Man, check this out. Beautiful. All right, I'll start in the back. In the back here are those bunks. I forgot, we did take a look at this at the Tampa show, didn't we? Yes. Got your living area. No real dining area, but your kitchen as well. And then upstairs is the bedroom and the bathroom right here. I want to start right here, and actually, well, I'm going to have you start in the kitchen, but first, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode, which is Liquefied. Thank you to Liquefied for sponsoring today's episode. Guys, that's our company, and thank you for helping us sell 35,000 bottles of toilet treatment in our first year of business. It really is the American dream, so thank you to everybody who's been supporting our business, and Will, we have a lot of exciting stuff coming down the pipeline. Sensor cleaner, toilet bowl cleaner, powder. So we're really changing the RV industry one stinky black tank at a time. And, and there's probably some stinky black tanks and Brinkley's right now, aren't probably, there? Yeah. You know why? Because I went to Margaritaville. Let me tell you something. Sorry. We're going to show you guys the inside in just a second. I went to Margaritaville. Bro, I saw like six Brinkley's. Did you? Brinkley is like 
They're making a name. From nowhere to everywhere. Yep. So congrats to Brinkley as well. Yep. Both of us starting great businesses. Right. I think, hey, I think Brinkley's business is a little better than the black tank treatment business. Probably. But still. Yep. <laughs> Go ahead, Will. Okay, over here you have all your controls right there. Love this. Yep. Love the tangible buttons. Over here, nice cabinetry. Yes. All soft clothes, and I do like the uh, uh, door handles. This is a nice little shelf here. This is where we would throw all the GoPro stuff. Yep, yep. Um, unfortunately, there's no power in there. And, Will, we don't film a GoPro no more. We got we the don't. Osmo, the, the Osmo DJI. Okay, yeah. Nice little coffee nook here, backsplash, and then you have power USB and USB-C. Love these power outlets right here. I know. That's so important to have. You got storage here. There's that Fury on backup camera. Yep. You also, you get the TST. Very yep. nice. This all comes with it. Storage here, and then storage and some fuses underneath. You know, I, I'm I'm guilty by association by saying Brinkley's are a little bit more money. Yeah. But you get everything. You do. You know. Nice storage in the closet. Great shelves. Power in there as well, so you can put a coffee pot or whatever. And then a nice Furion refrigerator here. Wow. Coming over, you know, nice storage on either side of the Furion microwave. Hang on, oh. hang on. Let me see that. Okay. Perfect. Nice big microwave there. Yes. And then you have a window on your non-camping side. Countertop space on both sides of the Furion cooktop. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Love I like this, this dude. Too, I love for that. the uh, uh, spices. Just layering. You know yep. what I'm saying? Great storage. I, I've always loved the cabinetry that Brinkley does. Yep. It's just more residential with like the custom cool cabinets. Nice oven here. Storage underneath. Yep. And a flush floor. Yes. That's so important. Huge countertop space here. A nice extension faucet. I love the colors in here as well. Solid surface throughout the whole kitchen. Nice big single bowl sink. Yes. And then you got... Hey, that's $276 trash can. It is. And, and a hair and, curler. Yep. Nice hair curler. And again, you have a... You know, like this is something you'd see more in a house. You know, having like the double uh, shelves. Or double drawers. Nice little sponge holder there. And you can tell in these, like, the, you know, it's real solid wood. Yep. It feels sturdy. Yep. It was made well. <clears throat> yeah, well, that's why there were so many sold. It at, is. At, you know, yep. at the Florida Super Show. For sure. And really, let me be the first to thank Brinkley. Yeah. For, um, you know, like, I know we don't... All right. Like, they could work with anybody, but they picked General RV. And, yeah. You know, thank you so much for that. Because let me tell you something. Brinkley's quality and unit, plus General RV's prices. Oh, yeah. I mean, we were getting phone calls from all over the country. Uh-huh. Check this out. Very nice windows. LED lights. Sofas right here. Dealerships were calling us. You know, dealerships are trying to buy from us because our prices <laughs> are so good. Right here. Love. Love this theater seat right here dude dude like for real mm. i know love the color in here mm. wireless phone charger a little bit of storage right there get this usb and this is also a heated seat will okay not only that this seat reclines and that seat reclines in this one bada bing bada boom more cup holders and power and usb this is what the world we live in it is you know what i'm saying windows all the way around the brinkley shades we call them right we filmed a uh, heritage glen yesterday and they had these shades well they didn't have the daytime ones only the privacy ones but we've coined them brinkley shades yes you know what i'm saying they had them first they had them first and then over here well i guess this could have been part of the kitchen yeah you know just more storage you know very nice. You got a nice little mirror right there. The lights on both sides. Look at this. I know Nate's wife probably did this. I like you, Nate. You didn't design this. Right. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's wife definitely designed this. And let me tell you something. I can't tell you how many customers we talked to. And I'll say it this way. The spouses that cared about the way they looked 
how many of them told me how beautiful the inside of a Brinkley is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You okay? Yeah, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. Beautiful. Hands down. You want to know what I'd love to see? What? Check this out. Um, I'd love to see whoever designed the Brinkley versus the lady that does the Fleetwoods. Yeah. Andy Cox and Brinkley going like a head to head. Right. But beautiful, Will. You man. okay? Yeah, man, they're hitting hard. And then from across this way, you got this TV area. Okay. Yeah. This TV is down. Did you not show all this? No, I didn't. That's part of the entertainment center. Yeah, but, but it also extends out to the kitchen area. It does, yeah. You know? We got a little bit of storage there. Okay. And then when you push this button, Will, the TV comes all the way up. And underneath you do have that Enafame fireplace. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. You got the hiccups, Fireplace, Will. yep. Yeah. What's nice about this fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity. And then after a few seconds, this TV is going to come all the way up. Yep. So it's very, very nice. And, Will, do you want to know why this whole thing is? Why? There's no dinette in here. I know. You don't need a dinette. No. I'll watch your whole family eat dinner. Right here, you got this nice privacy door. And just look at it. Like, like if you guys are thinking about spending this type of money on a fifth wheel, you have to see one in person. Oh, yeah. Because once you feel this door, you yep. know what I'm saying? This is good quality stuff. It is. We got your bark beds right here. Well, this unit already comes with the TV right there. That never happens in a bunk room. Right, not in a bunk room, right? Right here, we do have storage right there. And then look at these drawers. Can you see them? Yep. Very nice drawers. That's a big one. Yep. Another one down there. And again, here's the beds and everything. Very, very nice. And you see that table? Yes. There is a table if you do want to set up like a table. For sure. But again, you know, it's just, it's like a fold up table, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yep. And actually, there's one more thing. A little bit of storage right there. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, and you know what? Did we miss? No, what? we didn't do it on this. Okay. No, that's With one Brinkley, of the models. Like, you gotta model look, G. Yeah, you gotta look above and below. Right. You don't know when they're gonna throw something in there. So, yep. Well, go stand in that shower. Okay. It's an on board shower. Well, of course it is. Plenty of width, plenty of depth. <laughs> <laughs> Good skylight placement. I love the shower head. This definitely passes. Ding! That is the shower test seal sure of approval. Is. Right behind the toilet, we do have this. Okay. Okay. We got liquefied sitting right there on the countertop. Our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, go to primepoopmusician.com to pick up a bottle. Thank you. Married medicine cabinet. Right there, we got some storage there. Okay. Okay. Very nice solid surface. Nice big deep counter too. Yeah. Oh, and more just see. an axis. That's very nice though. It is. Here, let me switch. You know, I'm on the Brinkley Owners Group. And a lot of people are giving me a hard time. I know. Did you read the comments? Yeah, I did. Can I tell you guys something? Why? We're called public figures. Mm -hmm. We read the comments, guys. Some of you guys are mean. All right. Yeah. But uh, but for me, this is not a prime poop position. Womp right. Womp. Does this mean this toilet sucks? No. Does it mean I wouldn't buy it? No, not at all. For me personally, and the way I rank my system, this I'm touching. No different than if it's a wall. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And Will, there's one thing I want to tell the Brinkley owners, just the mean ones. Okay. What everything I say, everything you say, yeah. is always just opinionated. It is, yeah. There is plenty of... Guys, watch our episodes. There's plenty of things that Will will say is a, di a like, and I'll call that a dislike. Yeah. Vice versa. You know For what I'm sure. saying? It's just about who you are and, you know... How you camp. How you camp. I saw you, Roger. Roger 82. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, look at this. A very nice mattress. Nobody's doing this in the RV industry. Right. You guys know we love our RVmattress.com, but RVmattress.com is for brands that don't do this. Right, you know for sure. This is very nice. It's comfortable. You got your TV right here. 
Okay. okay. Little coat holders right yes. there. And then it is a north to south bed. And we got storage here. Nice light power right there. Okay. Look Hold at that. On. You can see I'll on get that this side. side. Yeah. Thank you. You know. Same thing here. Look at the little Edison light. You know. Yep. Power it's USB our, and USB C. And then there's storage underneath there. Show that, Will. Yep. All right there. Now there is a slide out in the bedroom. It's actually that yes. bedroom. It's the uh, bedroom bathroom slide out. Okay. And now you got the hanging wardrobe. Okay. Very nice, Will. It is. Can I tell you something? Yeah. It's going to make America mad. What? Alliance Grand Design Brinkley. Yeah. Bro, the trifecta of yep. the fact. Don't get me wrong. There's other great brands. There we, are. We represent a lot of brands. But I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. You cannot go wrong with any of those three. Uh -oh. Did you shut the lights off? Oh, it's... Oh, the jump box. So I'm moving too much up here. Then a little bit of storage right there. Okay. Well, well. <clears throat> that is... This is nice. Yeah, it is. And here's what I will say, Will. What's that? You own an alliance? Yep. I own an alliance. If you were to tell me... Model Z, uh huh, Avenue Reflection. I like Model Z. Yeah, I do. I do. It's a good unit. Well, I hear it. phenomenal unit. But again, not that doesn't mean I like. We're talking. You ready for this? Out of a hundred percent, thirty four, thirty three, thirty three. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And again, one of the dislikes is going to be the price point. It is compared to those guys. Did we even do that, MSRP? We did not. We Nope. You don't we have time for it, it Will? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP. I almost forgot. MSRP on this fifth wheel here is $106,195, Will. That is MSRP. <laughs> sale price, we are not allowed to advertise sale price on any 2024 Brinkley's. So, I can't tell you. But here's what I can tell you. If you go down, you click our link down below, generalrv.com slash matscash. Reach out to our team. And a member of our team, I promise you guys, will help you get the absolute best price in America on this Brinkley or any Brinkley RV. And Will, let me tell you something. We represent Brinkley at both the Hershey Super Show and the Florida Super Show. Yeah. And at almost every single one of our general RVs nationwide, I actually think every single one of our general RVs nationwide, I promise you this. Nobody's building it better than Brinkley. Yeah. And nobody's selling it better than General RV. Right. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you guys reach out to our team. And with that said, well, that's the review. Sorry if we got all scrambled on you guys. Now, before you guys leave, we're going to tell you three things that are opinions, just opinions, that we don't like about this unit. And then three things that we do love about it. Will, what do you want to do first? Let's... Let's do dislikes first. Can you cut it out with the hiccups uh, I'm too? trying. Okay, first two dislikes are outside. Dislike number one for me is gonna be where this auto level is. Talk to me, Will. Um, I've said it before. I don't like it being enclosed in here. Okay. Um, and also, uh, you know, I feel like you'd hit your slide. Now, actually, I take that back because typically your slide's gonna be in. Yeah, okay. You're... So, but still, it being under here, it's so hard to watch. Yes. You know. So whoever's backing up the truck and hitting the buttons that you need to at the same time, it needs to be right out there. And Will, uh, I will also void out your hit in the head because yeah. I don't have that problem. Yeah. But that is dislike number one. What's dislike number two? Actually, well, we're staying out here. Okay. Dislike number two, even though it's the hydraulic auto leveling, I do not like how it's four point. I don't like leveling. that either. You know, Will had a fifth wheel, same exact length as this. Now, no, it was four point electric yep. leveling. But still, the four point, you still felt it from one side to the other. Six point, it does make it a little bit more, but it makes it a lot more sturdy. I much rather have seen that on this style of fifth wheel or yeah. any fifth wheel. I want six point. That's dislike number two. We'll wrap it up with dislike number three. Great. That's dislike number one and two. Will, do you have a dislike number three? I do. Talk to me. Okay. As much as this area is nice, you don't really have a living space. Right, it's kind of designed like a toy hauler almost. It is, yep. Your whole kitchen island 
is completely in your living space. You can really only see directly from the one chair. From the one chair. The other two you're cutting across the countertop. And if I'm standing here cooking, I'm blocking your view. This side, you're having to t turn your head to see the TV. So, Well, that. let me ask you this. Let yeah. me ask you this. You say that's a dislike. Yeah. Am I making the monthly payments on this fifth wheel or no? Nope. Well, who is? Whoever buys it. Well, let's say I buy this. Oh, yeah. I am? Yeah. That's my chair right here. <laughs> right. Here. That's everybody else's chair. Right. Problems. Well, I totally agree with you. That's three things we don't like about this RV. Now it's time for three things we love it. And, well, again, opinion-based show. Yep. I don't agree with you. Okay. My like, number one, is the fact that you have all these seats and this. Yep. Here's the alternative. This, well, one, you wouldn't have this. You're right. Two, you would have a smaller sofa. Three, you'd have a small dinette. Don't give me that. This is a bunkhouse right. unit. Right. I want seating for six. I know. This, you can seat six. Everybody can see the TV. It doesn't need to be perfect. You're kidding. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the one thing I can say about this, give me sofas over a dinette. So I like agree. number one is that there's no dinette. Yep. That is like number one. And you just gave me your hiccups too. Did I really? Yep. You just like passed it on that to me. That is so funny. Well, tell me love number two. Okay. Love number two. Number two. I'm definitely going to give it to like the colors in here. Talk to me. I love the brown. I love the... Uh, Kind of gray couch, mm -hmm. and I love the cabinetry with the gold accents. One of the most it's beautiful nice. fifth wheels. It is. Yep. And Brinkley, dear Brinkley, whoever designed the interior, A plus plus. Yes. Because let me tell you something. I can't tell you how many men, women, and children <laughs> came up to us at the show and said, "Isn't that pretty?" Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The amount of people. So true. Unreal. That is like number two, and then well, <laughs> like number three for me. You know what it has to be? What? It has to... Oh, I hate saying this. But the quality. I agree. You get what you pay for. Yep. This is, again, you have to compare this to the avenues and the reflections. Yep. And the Rockwoods and the Eagles. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's mid-profile. Right. But it gives you the quality of a full profile. Yep. I love that. You know what I'm saying? This is what people have been asking for. Asking for this. Asking for the flush floor. Asking for the nice windows. Asking for good cabinetry. Asking for solid wood. Just build me something that's small, but that's also nice. <coughs> and Brinkley does it better than anybody. I agree. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in buying a Brinkley, please click our link down below. That will send you to a member, member of my team at General RV, and they will get super duper aggressive with you because it is our goal as General RV to sell the most Brinkleys in the entire United States. That's right. And it's just really exciting that they chose us to represent them at the big shows. Yes. And so in return, it is exciting that we get to sell them, and it's just a, a great relationship that we have with them. So it's very, very exciting. And it's always exciting times when... New brands come out, and guys, even though Brinkley knocked it on the head, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you like about it and what you don't like about it, because there's one thing I can tell you about that team at Brinkley. <clears throat> Ready for this? Yep. This is almost perfect. Yeah. But almost perfect is not perfect, and they are reading every comment, you guys, and making sure that you guys, and, and making sure that they can improve on whatever way that you guys think you should. Because Brinkley doesn't work for us. I agree. They don't work for any dealership. They work for the end consumer, which is you guys. So make sure you guys drop a comment down below. Will, what do you got to say? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. It is a great unit in here. I love the colors. I love the floor plan. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Again, like, like Matt said. Um, and let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.